Hit that subscribe button to never miss my plant-based recipes and videos. Pancakes are a staple in my house in the weekends and sometimes the weekdays. I'm gonna show you my family's go-to pancake mix that I have to give my wife credit for. We tried a bunch of different recipes until we landed on this one. You can make it gluten-free just by swapping out the flour for a gluten-free one-to-one, -one, and you can also add whatever mix-ins you want. What I love about this one is it doesn't add any oil, it doesn't add any butter, or it doesn't add any eggs. And I'll show you the different things we use to make up for that. First off, we're gonna start with two and a half cups of flour. I like to use whole wheat. You can mix this with whole wheat and white flour, or you could put in a gluten-free one-to-one. -one. To that, we're gonna add a quarter cup of flaxseed. This is what's gonna act as your egg binder. It's gonna help everything mix together. A teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and four teaspoons of baking powder. This is what's gonna make it really fluffy. Whisk together all of those ingredients until they're nice and mixed. And now you can just add the wet ingredients right into here. You don't have to pre-mix them on their own. Two cups of plant milk. This is an oat milk. You could use almond or any other non-dairy milk of your choice. I have two tablespoons of maple syrup. About two teaspoons of vanilla. You could add a different flavor extract in there if you wanted to. Almond is nice sometimes. You could also do just something more fancy and fun. This is what's gonna replace the butter and the oil. It's applesauce. This is a half a cup of applesauce. If you don't have any applesauce, you could also mash up one large, really ripe banana. We're just gonna stir this until it's well combined. So after that is nice and mixed together, we're gonna let it sit for about two to five minutes just so that flax seed can expand and really start to bind everything together. While that's happening, heat a pan on low to medium heat. Once the pan's at the right temperature and the batter is rested, we're gonna scoop out quarter cup increments onto the pan Cook for about two minutes until you start to see little bubbles forming on top of the pancake. Flip and do the same. The pancake is so fluffy. The cinnamon just rises it up just a little bit, just enough. It's delicious. It's just packed with flavor. You can take these pancakes, you can fill them with chocolate chips, you can throw some nuts in there, any fruit you want to put in there. These pancakes will keep really well in the fridge for a couple of days, and they also freeze amazingly. So you can make a huge batch and just have them ready in a moment's notice. It's just like, I don't even know. I don't even have the words to tell you how I feel. I'm just so happy right now. Go to pbwithj.ca for these recipes and more. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and click that notification bell.